So what are your thoughts about the quality of this ground? I think I loved it. Uh, I wasn't expecting such a good ground in the U.S. as uh, you know, it, cricket isn't that uh, popular game here, over here. I think it's beautiful cricket ground. It feels to me like it uh, makes sense but a proper cricket ground. It could be anywhere in England, it could be anywhere in Australia. Uh, but very fortunate and very happy I got to see this and hopefully I can play many more games here. Oh, this ground is lovely. You know, I love it. The atmosphere is good. The ground is brilliant and it's a good wicket. So, you know, it's a good cricket um, venue to play and I'm happy. Week 3 got off to a savage start on Friday as Calvin Savage blasted a 34 run over to help the Tigers beat their Chicago rivals, the Blasters, by 9 runs. Savage was also one of four Tigers to finish the game with two wickets, and Karen Kumar's steady half century helped set a platform for a late first innings blitz. The Tigers carried that momentum into Saturday and handed the first place Dallas Mustangs their first loss of the season. Again, Calvin Savage was the man of the moment for the Tigers, limiting Dallas to, to seven runs from four overs and stopping Sujith Gowda at 51 runs from 25 just when Gowda looked set to win the game. The East Bay Blazers kicked off Week 3 premium content at Morgan Hill by beating the Golden State Grizzlies. The Blazers fed the Grizzlies a steady diet of spin bowling, and Sanjay Krishnamurthy proved too tough to digest, taking four wickets and moving into the conversation for this week's Daffa News Emerging Player of the Week. The Philadelphians continue to feature in close games, this time against the Empire State Titans. A late furious cameo from Adobati and Osman Ashraf gave Philly a target of 190, but Philly's top order set the tone with 76 runs in the power play, and it was fairly smooth sailing from there. Philly won with an over to spare. Paul Palmer starred in the New Jersey Stallions 12 run win over the New England Eagles, smashing 63 off 35, including five sixes. Economical bowling and sharp fielding for the Stallions closed the door as the Eagles suffered three runouts. Orlando Galaxy topped Fort Lauderdale, bowling the Lions out to win by 24 runs, thanks to 61 runs from Taganarine, Chanderpaul, and wickets from five different bowlers. New Jersey Somerset Cavaliers continued their slide, losing to the Manhattan Yorkers. John Campbell made short work of the 106 target, scoring 85 not out from 32, giving the Yorkers a huge NRR boost by winning on the first ball of the ninth over. The Houston Hurricanes could not gain traction on Saturday and were defeated by St. Louis thanks to amazing performances from Sherfane Rutherford, Justin Dill, and Baljinder Singh. Luke Schofield and his mighty mustache closed the door on the Hurricanes with this absolutely insane catch. And last... Spell. Catch it, catch it. Ball's up in the air and has that been taken? The Silicon Valley Strikers top order dominated the Surf Riders in Saturday's closing premium game. But San Diego finally broke out a little bit with the bat in the chase. And finally for Saturday, the Atlanta Fire versus the Atlanta Lightning rivalry match was washed out thanks to some typical southeast weather. What was it like shooting a cricket game for the first time? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was quite enjoyable, actually. Um, I realize I don't have nearly enough lens, particularly once we got under the lights, uh, to do it. But, you know, it's, there's some reminiscence of shooting baseball, but there's also the challenges of, you know, the plays are going all over the place in the field to try to get the fielders in action. And uh, I had a blast. <laughs> Calvin Savage-led Tigers kept rolling on Sunday, adding to the Houston Hurricanes' grief, ending the weekend with three big wins, jumping up to second place in the Central at 5-2. and two. There were two centuries in the Atlantic Conference, as Chander Paul Hemraj scored a blistering 130 runs to lift the Cavaliers to their first victory of the season, and JaVel Glenn broke Ryan Scott's record for the fastest century in minor league cricket when he scored 100 runs in just 39 balls in Fort Lauderdale's win over Orlando. The Stallions won in typical Stallion fashion on Sunday over the New England Eagles with economical bowling and key wickets. Paul Palmer once again was the top scorer for New Jersey. 
Surya Selva Kumar smothered St. Louis and took four wickets for 11 runs in his four overs to keep the Mustangs at the top of the table with five wickets on the weekend from Surya. He's clearly the front runner for our Emerging Player of the Week. Greg Hay and Nikhil Dutta finally clicked at the same time, but sadly nobody else did with the bat for the surf riders, but they did keep it close against a strong Golden State Grizzly squad. That takes us to what proved to be the game of the week. Silicon Valley Strikers versus the East Bay Blazers. Two rivals who share a home at Morgan Hill. East Bay took a big wicket early when Nawaz Khan bowled Unmuk Chan for just six runs, but Shaihan Jayasuriya was stubborn and fully on fire and helped the Strikers post a healthy 187-run target for East Bay. The Blazers were hot out of the gate as David White and Saideep Ganesh opened with a 94-run partnership into the 10th over, but from there... Silicon Valley steadily sniped the Blazers batters until there were seven balls left and only six runs needed for the Blazers to win. I'll leave you at this point with Nick and Suhas so you can hear what happened with the original calls. How much can he give Kovinder Singh in that final over to defend? We have seen Kovinder Singh hold his nerve well, but it's going to be very hard defending a runner ball. He's going to get less than a runner ball to defend. Run on chance, trouble, but throws to the wrong end. And Kulvinder Singh had the opportunity to take that wicket. Instead, goes to Rajariwala. And Rifa can't believe it. It's all oh. happening at Morgan Hill. Pressure. It's the pressure. Kulvinder Singh not realizing that at the non-striker's end, there lay a man waiting for that ball to be pouched and whipped the bails off. A run-out opportunity. Five required of the six balls. That's what it's come down to. And Kulvinder Singh has got a cushion of four. What that single of the last ball has also done is put Bikash Mohan back on strike. The man who's faced more deliveries. Want to look at the field quickly. He's got a fielder on this deep mid-wicket boundary, as well as one at deep third. Pushing the ball across. Huge dot delivery to start. By Kovinda Singh, I like that length though. There is a wide long on in place. And of course, a very wide long off in place. Again, coming across his stumps, and another dot. Would you believe it? All of a sudden, pressure back on this East Bay Blazers team. You look at their dugout, they can barely look. It's been superb stuff from Kovinda Singh. He's got to close out the over well. Would you ask for a better finish to this third weekend of the 2022 Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship here at Morgan? Thing starts with two dots. How does Mohan respond? Down the leg side. And it's going to be a single. Ask the question, but definitely outside the line. And it brings Burr on strike with four needed. If he replicates this effort, his team will walk away with yet another win. And that's what Silicon Valley strikers would be aiming for. Singh bowling to Arshdeep Burr. They're one hit away from winning this game, the Blazers. He goes for it, and it goes straight up. No elevation, no power. And taken by Chan. Arshdeep Burr going for glory. Has found Unmuk Chan, who's taken his third catch. And could that be the one? Singh to defend. Burr can't believe it. And it means now that these lower order batters have got to come through. Nawaz Khan's come out to the middle. Eighth wicket's down for 183. It's going to be Vikash on strike. Kovinda Singh, though, such an experienced man. He's struggled in this tournament. But if you can win him, how crucial this delivery will be. Slower delivery, huge swing and a miss. Where is he going? And it's going to be another wicket. From five needed in the final over, Kulvinda Singh has held his nerve. And it's now four from one. And Mohan is going to be run out. Vikash Mohan left this crease. That can decide the outcome of the game as well. Kulvinda Singh, he's done it again. This has been a thorough nail biter. Last man comes to the middle. All of a sudden, it's going to be Nawaz Khan who has to try and power the final delivery of the over for a boundary. Look at the field for Unmuk Chan. He's got two on the offside boundary in the cover and the long off. He's also got deep mid wicket and a man himself, the captain, position at sort of a cow corner position. So, four to win from one delivery. It's going down to the wire. I can't look. On a hat trick, the team hat tricks as well, remember. This time in the air, come on, he stops it, and it doesn't matter how many they run, they've got the win. Jerry Waller's gonna go and run him over the The strikers are celebrating, they defended five emphatically. 
They're the defending champions and they remain unbeaten. Scenes at Morgan Hill, California. Fantastic game. What a fantastic game of cricket indeed, Nikhil. Nerves of steel, nerves of steel for Unmuk Chan and Kulvinder Singh, who delivered absolute gem. USA Women's U19 team are in Trinidad for the Cricket West Indies U19 Rising Stars Championship, where they're playing against Caribbean Island Nation teams. When the weather hasn't stopped play, the girls have been dominant. Still left, they have Guyana on Tuesday in Trinidad and Tobago on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the USA team won their first game of the World Cup T20 qualifier Group B in Zimbabwe, where legendary Steven Taylor scored a century on just 55 balls to help pull USA over the line. T20 100 for Steven Taylor. You can see us. We're on our feet. He stands. He doesn't even celebrate. Now the helmet comes off. Steven Taylor, you are a star. Made an ODI 100 less than a month ago in Texas. He's followed it up here in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. And what a way to do it. Let's hope Ali Khan is not hurt. He took a rough one to the arm. All the best, Ali. I hope you're all right. Stay tuned for more content surrounding USA men's, women's, U19, and, of course, minor league cricket right here on the Minor League Cricket Show.